you feel trapped by the overlords of Microsoft? Are you in the market for a free alternative that isn't trying to steal your soul or your money? As ironic as it might sound, the first version of Office 1.0 was first released for the Apple Macintosh in 1989, followed by the PC version in 1990 for MS-DOS. Since then, there's been like 20 different iterations, all the way up to today, which gives us Microsoft 365, aka M365, which is a cloud-based software as a service. Software as a service is a subscription service that you pay for annually or monthly, analogous to Adobe Premiere. With respect to market share, Microsoft is actually in second place with 45%, and Google Workspace is at 50%. So with all this popularity, why would you need to have an alternative to Microsoft? Microsoft. What are some of the reasons that people want a different option? Let's start with privacy concerns, and that is that Microsoft hasn't been terribly forthcoming regarding their user data collection methods or what they do with said data. Another challenge is features and compatibility. Uh, Linux has become a very popular operating system for enthusiasts as well as small businesses as of late, but M365 for the desktop isn't officially supported. Additionally, a lot of M365 applications are considered quite heavy and cumbersome, so users opt for a more streamlined approach. Another function is fear of the cloud. Uh, not everybody is comfortable with cloud-managed or service-based applications like Adobe Photoshop, as well as Microsoft Office for a myriad of reasons, but most related to privacy, as well as people wanna make a one-time purchase for their productivity software and not be locked into annual fees and monthly expenses. And that brings us back to pricing. Pricing for Microsoft Office Personal is $69 a year for one user with one terabyte of cloud storage. And then there's a family plan which allows up to six users for $99 a year and they share five terabytes. Now, if you need any business pricing, that gets quite complicated and I'd be happy to go into more detail if you want to maybe sound off in the comments and I can give you more specifics. Last but not least is Microsoft's Monopoly, and it's really no secret that not everybody likes Microsoft Windows, if for no other reason because people feel like it's been forced on them for the last 20-30 years as the only option, and not everybody likes Microsoft Windows. Obviously I didn't touch on all the different reasons that someone might not want to use Microsoft Office, but sound off in the comments and let me know if you do use Office page subscription, or if you don't, and if you don't, what else do you use? And why do you want to use a different solution? With respect to Microsoft Alternatives, there's also a lot of different options for that. We're going to focus on four today. We're going to talk about Google Workspace, we're going to talk about WPS, we're going to talk about LibreOffice, and we're also going to take a look at the free version of Microsoft 365. First up is Google Workspace. Now you'd be forgiven if you're more familiar with G Suite or even Google Suites or Google Docs which as of 2020 have gone the way of the dodo and been rebranded as Google Workspace. The cool thing about Google Workspace is that it's completely free and starts with a generous 15 gigabytes of cloud storage. If you wanted to move up a tier on storage to 100 gigabytes, it's on a promo right now for only 49 cents a month Normally, it's about a buck 99, and no, I'm not getting endorsed for this. It comes with its own brand of cloud based docs. You have docs, which is the word processor, sheets, which is the spreadsheet, slides, which is the presentation program, and it also has a webinar slash meeting app called Meets. It also has a very handy forms tool for capturing polls or user feedback or user information. And Workspace can be used through your web browser on a mobile app or on your desktop. On to LibreOffice uh, slash OpenOffice. A LibreOffice is an open source spinoff to OpenOffice which started as Star Office way back in 1995. It's compatible with Mac, Linux, and even preloaded on some distros of Linux. It also has iOS slash Android apps under the Collabora app. I think I pronounced that right. LibreOffice comes with Writer, which is the word processor, Calc, which is for spreadsheets, obviously, 
present, which is for your presentations. And it also comes with a database program and is very similar to MS Office in terms of look and feel and even has export to PDF as part of its feature set. On to Microsoft 365 free version. As long as you have a Microsoft email, such as Live, Gmail, or Outlook, and I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get those for free, but you'll get the cloud-based applications of Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all web-based. In addition to that, you would also receive five gigabytes of cloud-based storage on your Microsoft account. On to WPS Office. WPS started way back in 1988 as Kingsoft Office and currently has 600 million active users with support for 46 different languages. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, as well as having iOS and Android apps. WPS has a three-day trial for its Office suite, after which you would need to subscribe to the Pro version for three months or an annual subscription the latter of which is about $37 annually, which is about half of Microsoft 365's pricing. The welcome screen is similar to M365, showing your cloud storage, desktop folders, as well as recent documents and the ability to create a new document. Save in a document defaults to the familiar Microsoft Office file formats of DOCX, XL, XLXS and PowerPoint with the included option of saving to your WPS cloud drive as well as a very handy sharing option. The WPS Pro version comes with the export to PDF function as well as audio and screen recording capability for each app which would be very handy for any type of content creators. The layout of the apps toolbar also has the same options for other Office editors with a different look and feel. The view layouts are also similar to the Microsoft Office with the web full screen as well as eye protection mode, which offers a different backdrop color behind your text. So we've only scratched the surface of all the different alternatives there are out there for M365. There's a couple of honorable mentions such as Open Office, Only Office, there's Zoho Business Suite, there is Dropbox, there's Apple's iWork, which is on the Macintosh. But let me know which ones you guys are currently using. If it's Microsoft or if it's something else from another OS, what specifically do you look for in an Office Suite? And or do you use it for personal reasons or for business reasons? Sound off in the comments if you could. And while you're down there, give this video a like if you found it to be useful. And please subscribe to Mackie Techs. You do not miss any of our upcoming videos. We have a lot of great ones on the horizon. And if you are a small business or home office and you're looking for some IT consulting, please visit MackieTech.org. Click on the Hire Us button and schedule your free consultation. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. We will see you again really soon. Thanks for watching.